what's up this year. Live yeah, from the Michigan House at the KBF Ambassador like Series. Here we go. All right. Welcome to a special edition of the Rusty Hook Podcast, streaming live on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. One hour of straight talk regarding tournament news, angler profiles, gear reviews, and more. Now let's get our show started by joining with John Rapp, our host. All right, guys, we're to Michigan House. I'm going to bring on the group. we got two clubs, or maybe even three clubs from Michigan, and a group of West Virginia boys, and we were invited over to the Michigan House for a barbecue. Welcome back to the paddling. All right. Welcome to the show, fellas. Hello, everybody. Thanks for having us, Rich. Yeah, you're welcome. Mike, that was huge when you were slider. <laughs> hey, we can't <laughs> yeah, man, get it. Sit on Mitch's lap. Where do you want me to go? Yeah, you're in the shot, hey, man. You can sit, in, you can sit Indian style right here on the front. I just want to sit no, at the no, middle of that table. Chris Cross <laughs> apple sauce. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Randy, <laughs> welcome. Right? Welcome. Huh? You're live. <laughs> Come on, it's fashionably late. So Rich had us over for a barbecue. Rich, tell us a little bit about your group, where y'all from, what what y'all do, all who right. your babies are, who your old men are, oh, all that yeah. all that good stuff. Yeah, we got a bunch. We got a whole group, eclectic group. Got two groups here. One is uh representing Top Water Series from Michigan. Got four guys for Top Water Series. We got another series called Michigan Kayak Trail, and four of us are representing the Michigan Kayak Trail. So those are kind of the two premier uh, KBF affiliated units in Michigan, I'd say. What do you guys think? Well, Topwater's actually got a, a podcast that goes on too. You know, yeah. So it's uh, KBF, or I mean KBF, sorry, MKT Topwater, and then I think KBBF. Yeah, KBBF, which we love too. You know, uh, pretty much all the same of us or the same. We all fish the different trails together. Uh, against each other so i'll talk smack all yeah, day every day well speaking of the smack talk we need to let everybody know who we are so start here and just go around and introduce yourself uh i'm randy fishing top water mike fishing on the top water team uh mitch fishing with mkt tell them your first and last name y'all <laughs> <laughs> start again <laughs> randy sexton <laughs> My first name's Mike. My last <laughs> name is Sel. <laughs> it's a hard day of fish. Uh, Mitch Sanders. Nice. Rich Soderquist. Tim D. Smith, Topwater. Keith Atwell, fishing for Topwater of the Year. Kyle Strother, West Virginia Kayak Anglers. Jerry Spratt, West Virginia Kayak Anglers. Uh, Tim Stenning, fishing MKT. Oh, are we just going to go with this? David Care, Michigan Kayak Trail. Sweet. So, everybody's been down all week? No. Since today. Monday, Tuesday? Today only. Yeah, yeah, today me and his ride at 5 o'clock or 4 30 this morning, I think it was. We drove through all night from Michigan to get here. Yeah, I did that Tuesday. I got here Wednesday morning. Yeah. We're like an hour and a half sleep. Yeah. yeah. I think 45 minutes. Something. Is that a monster? No, that is not a monster. <laughs> Four of those last night on the way down here. Kind of looks like an alien monster. Yeah. I'm just saying. I guess what we were Tuesday. Yeah. You were down here yeah, Monday. Yeah. Got the house at Tuesday. Got the house Tuesday, so we can kind of filter in. When did you get here, Mitch? I know uh, you had problems. I got here Tuesday morning at like two. So. He's smart. Rich, they're all giving you a hard time. Hey, Rich, hey, Rich has a real good story to tell us about why it delayed him getting down here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 2013 GMC transmission. <laughs> where's it laying on the road at? Yeah, Kentucky. <laughs> where at, and where is it laying at? In front of what? <laughs> in front of the transmission. And what had to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> there? You start, Alex. <laughs> 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 
They want me to go there, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Bottom line is it costs a ton of money, and it gets done tomorrow. So, but uh, Well, we're glad to hear that you're getting it fixed, Rich, and yeah. hopefully it, uh, that's the last of your problems Tra- you for problem. a while. Yeah, no, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Who gets credit for coming to your rescue? <laughs> Oh, you guys are terrible. Who, who, who gets credit for coming to your rescue? Who gets credit? Mitch. He's our savior this week. He's able to help me, help me out. Awesome. Actually, that is a big deal, man. It means a lot to me. Come three hours north because it's what? What is the name of that little Kentucky town? Anyways, Franklin. Franklin, Kentucky. So it's about three hours north of here. Seriously, though, broke down in front of a transmission shop. It's a good thing. So, but the money, you know. Anybody that says this lifestyle is easy is crazy. Yeah. Or that it's cheap. So I'm, I'm kicking this guy because he wants to do it full time, right? But, but uh, yeah, it's, a, it's expensive. So, pre fishing, you guys struggle? Yo, definitely. Is it this it, cold it, Alabama weather? Yeah, it's it's you definitely tough today? out there right now. <laughs> We're slaying them today. Here we go. You your mythical creatures again, there, Mike. Mike said it made it. I mean, 100 inches wasn't a bad day today. <laughs> I'm about four fish for 100 inches. <laughs> no, but seriously though, the uh, cold weather definitely. You know, apparently the stories told that a week ago they were down here slaying them. You know. 20, 25, 30 pound bags, you know, That's on ease. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this week it is definitely totally opposite. Mm-hmm. Um, warmed up quite a bit today, but not enough to really warm the water up that much. We got rain coming in tomorrow, you know, with kind of similar temperatures just with rain, but then come Saturday morning, highs are only going to be like 51 degrees, lows of 20s. Which is going to just shut them right back down again and probably move them even further from where they originally got to. So, well, it dropped the water a lot since we got here. And there, that's the other big factor that I don't think a lot of people have taken into account is they dropped the water something like thirty something inches, I think, from what I was told. Yeah, all that good like shallow. You can see the water line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's definitely going to be a tough day. I mean, I don't. If anybody comes out with one of those epic bags or any team or even individual with yeah, an epic yeah. bag of over 100 inches, I don't think it's, I mean, it's possible. You know, everybody's get lucky, you know, everybody gets lucky and you never know. But I think it's going to be like probably mid 80s, maybe high 80s for a team and low to mid 90s for an individual. We've literally found hundreds of beds with no fish on them. I had one fish on a bed that I actually seen locked on a, on a bed. A lot of crappie, though. Yeah, a lot of crappie. They're catching crappie left and right. So yeah, yeah 80, 80% of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. on a Thursday morning crappie fishing. They were. Yeah. Adam. What were they catching? Was it, Tim, how many did you say that guy got? Yeah, well, he told me he got 100 off one dock yesterday. 100 crappie off <laughs> one dock. Crazy. We want to have bag limits down here. Oh, they okay. do. just catch release. Oh, catch release. Yeah, oh, like okay. twelve year old kid with that's them. Pretty solid. <laughs> yeah. But still, on a crappie, I take that any day of the week. Oh, Heck I know. yeah, that'd be a blast. Well, the guys I, I passed no, no, away. I mean, like, <laughs> one guy caught one, the other guy caught three, and they, they've been fishing all day. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, we pulled up on the bridge here, and they're catching crappies, and Tim and I, were, and the guy pulled the bass up. We're like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're feeding them minnows. Now we know what to use. <laughs> Drop shot of minnow. Yeah. How much is it supposed to rain tomorrow? How, how long? Well, it's, it's three seven. inches. <laughs> it, it says a quarter inch, but throughout the, like the whole day, it's constant. Kind of like said. It'll be one of those misty type. Yeah, I mean, hope, water I mean, I would water rather water it be water. that way than it be a downpour because then it's just gonna mud. muddy everything, yeah. which is already and mud, mud now. It is, especially yeah. with wind blowing and all that. You know, um, I think this afternoon we fished a spot that, you know, when you kind of got out, the wind wasn't blowing that hard, and you could see the separation from the mud to the clean to the mud, mm. and it kind of staged across the bay. And an hour later, it was like the entire darn middle of it was chocolate milk, and you only had one left, you know, strip that was clear on the far side. And, you know, so I don't think that's, that's wild how that happens. 
Yeah. You know, it's that so quick, fast, faster, too. Yeah. Like, in a matter of, like, 20, 30 minutes, it does it. Not even, like, an hour. Let's talk a little bit about, uh, talk a little bit about the sponsor for you guys, Topwater, because, you know, um, you know, tell us a little bit about it, because we've got some real good sponsors in Michigan, good people, and, uh, you know, go ahead, tell them about the... So... Uh, top water team is sponsored by Water Dog Outfitters up in Michigan. Yeah, um, good they, friend of all of ours. Yeah, yeah. Um, he he fishes the trails too. Steve um, Brooks. Steve Brooks. Yep. Yeah. He does more than for the sport than I think anybody can even imagine. Right. I mean, what it is is he owns a uh, kayak, and uh, I guess it's kind of, it, it's more of an outdoor sporting. Yeah, they have Store, e-bikes, e-bikes, kayak. regular mm-hmm. bikes, kayaks, camping, camping, uh, hiking wear. Um, it's located in Montague, Michigan. Yeah, Whitehall, uh, Montague. Whitehall, Montague. Yeah. And the guy is just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, small business owner that's just been busting his butt. He just recently moved from a leased area that he's had his store for the last several years that he finally was able to build mm-hmm. his own store on his own purchase property just right down the road from it um and he just whether it's fishing or just the community of of montague and whitehall he gives everything he can every extra time and amount of energy he has to the sport in the community. I mean, the guy is just phenomenal. Gives the organization you know, outside of what we do, too. You know? <laughs> and it's like, you know, he give you a shirt off his back. And so we all try to buy kayaks from him, try to buy gear and stuff. You know, we're a power pole team for him, which is a good deal. And he has my mom set a store. The guy's just a heck of a nice guy. It's just, yeah. He but, did- Right here, speaking of mouse, sponsors of, uh, of yeah. our top water and MKT, right here, Rich. Yeah. Speaking of mouse, yeah, so yeah. All, all of the you know, the team that's down here is representing real Swede, and that's just a play on words because my dad would say keep it real Swede, and that was the name of my first Great Lakes boat, so it kind of stuck, you know. But got a YouTube channel, Real Swede, get out there. I'm like 60 people away from a thousand, so you know what I'm saying, but it's all about. My mounts, you know, I decided when I retired that I'd start doing fish mounts. So um, I don't like to brag on myself, but you guys who got my mounts, tell a little bit about the mounts, what you guys, because we give them away as like the grand prize at the MKT state championship. That's our state champion for last year. Mike's got one, a few people got him. But we just let him think he was a state champion. <laughs> yeah, we, we let him think, you know. But, um, you know, so realsweet.com. You can go out there and get them out. Uh, Steve's got them. We got about five or six of them in his store now. But uh, two of those will be given away this year. So we'll give them away one for Top Waters uh, season finale and then for one MKT season finale. I think one of them was my fish, too, right? Yeah, one of them's up hanging up there. Yeah. So if you ever want to buy it, just give me oh, yeah, and take it home. <laughs> <laughs> it turned out nice, by the way. And it's been yeah. hanging there so long, and they'll give you a discount. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just got it done. It did turn out nice. How big was that fish? Uh, 22 and a half, I believe. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Too. Especially yeah. for like a northern state. Yeah. yeah. Northern state. We oh, have yeah. such a slow growing season. And what you know, you West Virginia, Michigan. Huh? What you guys it on? Ned Rig. Oh. Ned Rig. <laughs> Ned Rig's the deal, man. It is. <laughs> Ned Rig's the deal. Yeah. If you look around this room, everybody's got giant fish on I got, you. Know, you can laugh all you want. I got, well, you I got two. <laughs> 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 Wait till St. Clair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I, like a, I got my first fish last year. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we got families, we're married, we got expenses, we got bills, and we've kind of not necessarily given up on our dreams in our life, but we just have priorities, so we know what those priorities are. And I think to a lot of us, like kayak tournament fishing has allowed us to just kind of reinvigorate our younger versions of ourselves, like where we used to be competitive and we used to just want to like, you know, beat somebody, you know what I mean? Like just have that pride of accomplishing Mm -hmm. something and winning. And as far as like with the whole tournament scene, like the, 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 the gratitude for the sponsors for all these tournaments, especially like Rich and Steve Crooks and, and, uh, um, Dakota lithium batteries, you know, like catch, like catch, and yeah, like, yeah. like we have all these, especially like, and I can only speak for Michigan, but we have our tournaments in Michigan and for basic, just MKT tournament, free kayak giving away, Dakota Trailer. lithium battery giving away. You know, like fishing rods giving away, fishing reels giving away, tackle power, tackle stuff. boxes. You, you know, like it. just kayak uh, trailers. Yeah, kayak, kayak well, trailers. Kayak trailers, trailers, trailers. Grand prizes. Yeah. We have random raffle draws from like uh, Go, uh, Go Lake Marine for Hobies or for mm-hmm. you know Crescent kayaks or whatever. And it, it to me like for us average people that are doing something investing our own money Mm -hmm. it it helps maintain the level of interest into it because not all of us win all the time and even those that do win don't win all the time right so if you have that be a small chance to win a little something extra to kind of help offset and make yourself feel a little better because you just fished a crappy day and didn't even place or nothing like that you get something it's such a great like kind of setup and just you know idealism behind the whole thing Mm -hmm. well think think about that like the ambassador series championship that's where we're at right yeah okay so chad and i know this to be too so chad hoover the whole kbf organization right uh i think a thousand bucks worth of your money yeah. Was directly from KBF for, for the, state championship. For the yep. Michigan Kayak Trail State Championship, you know? And he helps various yeah. ones out. Oh, that, exactly. I yeah. totally, Point. sometimes we forget about that because Chad Hoover every year donates a thousand bucks to the state championship winner or overall angler of the year. I forget which it is. I think, I think it's an MKT winner. winner, but I'm not it's sure. MKT winner. And I know he does that yeah. throughout the United States. And, you know, I mean, that's a, that's a big deal. So we're down here to show our love back, right? Yeah. And then there is that whole kayak thing. Should I talk about that? Sure. You guys are laughing. All right. So two. this is two days before Christmas, or before the Christmas weekend, right? And we had, Julie's dad's going through chemotherapy. He's doing good. But we've had a challenge and run, you know, brings tears to your eyes. But guy's doing good. But we're sitting there kind of bumming out, and I was sitting on the couch. Chad Hoover, I'm like, oh, I better take this phone call, right? So Chad goes, hey, Rich, I can't tell you what you've won, but I can tell you you're one of the winners from the Catch-22 tournament, you know, and I, I entered a year ago just because I wanted to get back to the grassroots fish and do something fun, you know. We all like the challenges, the monthly challenges. And this uh, Catch-22 is kind of near and dear to my heart because we got another – organization up in michigan called for the 22 which is stand up paddlers you know so they take veterans out and and stand at subs whatever they call them anyways um so i was kind of like i had heard about this i never knew that you know what 22 veterans a day commit suicide that's right is that crazy or what wow you know and this guy that had this one you know had uh seven of his buddies from the navy had committed suicide so i'm sitting there anyway back to the story so julie says wow you know so we talked said her pleasantries and uh i'm watching the simulcast that night you know and he's giving away 150 dollars gift certificates to fish usa 500 then it gets to this stuff where he's giving away uh, about four graphs you know for probably a few thousand dollars or whatever I leaned over and I said, hey, Julie, I said, you know the something? She said, yeah, your name ain't been called yet. You must have won something pretty good. So 
Anyhow, I'll make a real long story short, he gave away three kayaks and three fishing trips. And so uh, he gets to the second one and he says, yeah, he says, this one is, uh, you got to come down to Alabama, going to get a free tow trip, you know, go out fishing. But it's the wrapped, uh, you know, fish ops wrapped bonafide. I'm like, all right. And then he calls my name and I about fall off the couch, right? <laughs> and so he's been really good to us. Nice. And so for entering the Catch-22 series. Which everyone should do. Which everyone should do. Because I, I ended up, I think I was number one in Michigan for bass and number eight or something like that in the yeah. United States for the overall. I entered it, didn't enter a fish. Right. Right, but yeah. it didn't matter. So you don't have to, you, know, yeah. you don't have to, yeah. like yeah. you said, everybody should. You just, everybody should you know, get Whether you right? Yeah, exactly. And but that didn't matter because all these people got these prizes, right? And from a pool. So tomorrow sounds like or actually Saturday, right? At the at the weigh in measuring, whatever you want to call it. Sounds like I'm gonna get my kayak. So I'm pretty Sweet. pretty stoked up about yeah. that. And then he gave away the first grand prize was the old town, you know, autopilot and I already had that. So I was like, Yeah, <laughs> I want the pedal kayak. So, so I'm super excited. And then nice. in June I'm gonna get a chance to fish with him. You know, he just treats us right. So I'm glad that we're down here supporting KBS, you know, good stuff. The right side over here, y'all. Come on, you guys are quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Get yakking. You're all in the camera, Rich. I know, man. <laughs> I run my mouth all the time. You guys talk. Now, with an outsider, I want to back up a little bit to your mouths. Now, at an outsider, I don't have any, but they are high quality. They are awesome because I've seen all kinds of mounts on Facebook. Right. People catch fish and like, look at this mount I got of my my big trophy catch. And we all know that that's not that fish. Right, right. But yours are high quality. They're awesome. I appreciate the kind words from everybody because what I'm trying to do is like like yours. Like, you know, I mean, I took hours trying to make it look right. Oh, it's so awesome. it's, you know, it looks great. And you get the you get the stuff, the little stuff that makes it cool, like yours. Yeah. Well, so I'm, I'm hoping to. At Lake Erie treats me good here on Memorial Weekend, and I can catch me a what, 22 or 23 inch bed fish. Nice. When I do, are you send, guys you send me some photos? When are you coming up? We're going to Presque Isle Bay uh, right around the Memorial Weekend. We nice. there's a group of uh, WVK guys that go up there. They rent a house and they spend a week up there. Just you guys to, should come up for St. Clair. Any of you guys oh goodness! Yeah, I'm going to try yeah. to come. Nice. We'll have to yeah. get together. You There's a, you'll see a, a contingent of West Virginia guys go to St. Clair. Nice. Because we, you see, we're all close. Was we can bunk in, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, I, 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 I drive drive eight. three hours from the other side of the state. <laughs> in the parking lot. So if your basement yeah. is the bed of my truck, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let me close to that water. <laughs> Nice green spring breeze, you know. I, I'd say stars, all, all of us have slept the so right before, have haven't we? Last night? <laughs> I, don't know, I probably have no If Walmart, I get there, I'm not the Walmart, Walmart, Walmart party going out last night. <laughs> so what's the ages here? Mitch, you're 19, you are youngest? Yeah. Mitch has been with us, what, since you're up about 16? 12. <laughs> <laughs> so. How old's that mower? Uh, Let's see it. Come on, baby. Show it. Show it. Show it. Show it. Show it, baby. Mitch, Whoa, there it is. Yeah. He said he wanted to talk about the mullet. So you better I didn't say that. that. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus. I won't call it that. Does that make you the old guy? Yeah, he's the oldest. No, you. Yeah. <laughs> the mullet's the oldest. I guess I am the old guy from our group. I'm 58. A, just barely. Yeah, let's see. What's the next youngest? Who's from us? Yeah. Just our side, not including you guys? Then that would be me. I think. I'm 35. I think Dave. 35. I'm 38. Oh, yeah. Dave? Just one. <laughs> 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 babies. I won't, I won't be 58 till August. I'll be 58 till August. Yeah. Well, it's good, though. Yeah, you got me. I'm only 32. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be 43 this year. But they can all fish. That's the big thing. Except Mike. Yeah, Mike's just learning. <laughs> we can. We all. We're all great fishermen. Catching is the problem with us. He said he was a golfer. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know where to categorize that. That's like being a golfer, like you're like kind of like eh. Cat, like Caddyshack or something. Yeah. Fish, fish for golf ball. I'm a better fisherman than a golfer. Next you year. Have a <laughs> hey, that is not saying much at all. I'm not sorry. Right. Do you at least have a fishing pole in your golf bag? At least you don't throw darts. <laughs> Oh, I'm a better dart player. Yeah. Than yeah. Oh, yeah. What is it? Uh, I, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I got to ask this question. We just finished the barbecue. Rich, thank you, buddy. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, man. Who had more than two hamburgers? Who only had two hamburgers? <laughs> Who only had one hamburger? But who, there's reason but I had steaks and everything. Steaks? <laughs> who who had, ate all that salmon in there? Cow? 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 Right over there. Right over there. Yeah, Tell us your awesome. secret salmon recipe. That's what we want to know. Hey, I want to know who made the, the uh, smoked uh, it, cheese jerky. Uh, that's that's man, that's good stuff. You made that? I didn't make it. I had it made. Oh, you had it made? What is it? I haven't had that yet. What is it? Yeah, I know. Oh, I, didn't have, I, didn't, I didn't have the time, man. Sorry. <laughs> Rich, I thought I was in. Yeah, you're on my level there. Just one second with old Duke. No, I can't even go blew. there. I can't even go there. Can't hold a candle. <laughs> this guy posted. <laughs> oh, oh, trannies. <laughs> There we go. There are my, P, my PG ratings just got blown away. Walked right, 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 right into that one. <laughs> Happily married to a beautiful woman. <laughs> All right, let's stop beautiful fishing, man. My day is yeah. beautiful. You better watch it, man. My voice. No. Seriously, though, talk technique. Start over here. What's your favorite two? Two ways to fish, man. What's your favorite two lures? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm get over here, here, man. Well, he, you know, he's a little uh, uncomfortable. And tell us all about that. Sta- <laughs> tell us all about that salmon recipe. For that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's pretty sweet. That was good smoked salmon, wasn't it? You know, uh, homemade maple syrup from the backyard. Beautiful. There you go. That's the secret. Recipe. That's the secret recipe. That's the secret recipe. Fishing techniques, huh? Yeah, two of them. Uh, I, I, <laughs> so I, I do an angler profile series with my, my show and, nice. I, and I'll reach out and I'll ask like eight questions at your favorite lake, your favorite, uh, lay it on us. Your, your, your least likely, the hated technique, your favorite technique. So just, just go with it like that and tell us your, your favorite technique. Uh, my favorite is not the Ned rig. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love to, um, fish grass mats. Um, Pop water. Is that no, your favorite? I love I love the punch. 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 Okay. Um, which is a little odd being from the northern part of Michigan. Yeah, but hey, you never fish a tournament that you ever have to punch. That's <laughs> <laughs> fun. Um, but nice. <laughs> uh, so that that's punch my favorite. Not included. Um, now hold on. Do you use pegs or use like a tea stop? I use pegs. Pegs. Okay. Usually there's one, two, three. Well, <clears throat> considering we're from Michigan, it's usually <laughs> just one. Uh, but when I come down here, it's usually two. Yeah, yeah. two. Yeah, there you go. You gotta have two on there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never even thought of things like that. One in the front. One <laughs> oh, <that. laughs> concrete thinking right there. I got the bag one. That's it. <laughs> you try punching the stuff down. Yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll I'm quickly, from Michigan. You'll quickly notice. <laughs> you may stay at the top. Of your- Waddle this way. <laughs> That's a good point, though. But the Florida boys were showing they put one, you know, right next to the hook and one on top. Really? Yeah, that's, that's what they're doing. Yeah, the knot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, really nice. Huh. Snell? No <laughs> snell? Oh, snell. I, love it. I don't think so. I don't think it does anything. Really? I kept more fish without a snell. San Diego Jam. I think it depends on what kind of But that doesn't mean anything. What if they take it like upside down? Then you. Or sideways, it's not going to way it's full. It's going somewhere. Yeah. Up or down. I don't know about you guys, but this, this sounds like I'm in France. Yeah, I'm <laughs> speaking French to me. Yeah, speaking, speaking <laughs> French. So they're talking about the snell knot, which is the way it's tied is the, the knot is actually on the shank of the hook, mm-hmm. not through the eye of the hook. And then the line runs through <laughs> the eye. So when the line pulls, it pulls on the back of the eye, which then tips. Yeah. the hook up because it's pulling through like a 
a lever, yeah. and then there will be a test. At the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. And that information was provided by Pete that well. <laughs> that hates punching. <laughs> I just know how to do it. I just don't ever catch anything while trying to do it. So I stop doing it. <clears throat> now I think when it levers up, if you use like a big weight, when that hook comes up, you're actually creating like a smaller gap there. You are. Uh, <clears throat> I know you're <laughs> All right. So but, play around with. But the thing with the snow knot, you do not have to lay into them hard. Like, yeah. I mean, you don't have to really set that hook. You just I, lean into you it. You never should set the hook anyway when you're punching them up. And you just lean into it. You just it. lean into it, right? Yeah, that's what a lot of and people why you see 99% of people punching. And they're setting the freaking hook like they're swinging for the freaking outer space. And, and they throw that 12 inch like, right over like, itself <laughs> back inside the hook. Yeah. <laughs> like the hook is not that much bigger than the last That's five me, that you used in five other techniques. So why are you setting the hook? Oh, uh, Kyle so knows how I fish. Boom! In the net! <laughs> <laughs> He's still angling! Get him in! No, He's the same Diego. Alright, Tim, you're up. What's up? Ah, uh, favorite technique? Favorite lakes, too. What lakes? Oh. And this goes back to when I was just talking about the snook. Okay, a 30, 40 pound snook that has a mouth this damn big. That's blown up on a Zara spook that's only this freaking big is gonna blow that damn thing like six feet up in the air, four feet, whatever. And it's just like vicious. It's Top of the loud. mangrove. <laughs> it's just whoosh. So and what's the color of the sky bait? Bait? That's the <laughs> if, if you catch 14 snook on a so, white Zara spook, yeah. what color was your spy bait? <laughs> Uh, now, if we're talking about my favorite as far as confidence goes and what I fish the most because I do the best, so therefore it's became my favorite way to fish. Because that's two different questions, right, in itself. Are you talking tournament or are you just talking like just what you would thoroughly enjoy? <coughs> as far as tournaments go, like mm-hmm. Texas Rig is my number oh, yeah. one like really? most successful right. nice like i fish texas rig craws various colors uh grande bass you know they're they're rattlesnakes i mean i have freaking just absolutely mutilated fish with those things when everybody else is throwing every other normal thing and then all of a sudden i'm throwing those and i'm just crushing them one after another it's because it's something different. So it, it's always changing. It it's always different. evolving. <laughs> every, like, you know, every, you have a confidence bait for so long, and then all of a sudden you start throwing something else. So, yeah, today mine would be, like, Texas rig and chatterbait. That's what I do the best on. And, like, my variations do not change a whole lot. Now, sometimes they get me in trouble because I start you know, I get on a lake on a certain tournament day, and I pre-plan in my head, okay, wait, I need to throw something a little different. I need to do a different technique. I need to approach it like this. And it doesn't work for, the, like, the first 20, 30 minutes. I start panicking. I freak. I'm like, okay, I got to go back to the normal. So then I start throwing what I'm, like, confident with, and I still don't catch nothing. So then I'm, like, too stubborn, or, like, then I just lock down, and I don't change to something else. And then I like to find out from, you know, him <laughs> that's fishing 50 feet away from me. Use well, it. what were you throwing? I was, I was like, are you kidding me? That's what you were throwing? I was going to throw that and I didn't throw it. So, yeah. So okay. you the farthest away. Our problem is just the opposite. How far of a drive you got? You're, you're in UP, right? Or no. Oh, me? Yeah. No, Dave's is as far as I'm in Grand Rapids. Rapids. Oh, he's so actually a little are. farther for me, but yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, some are not thinking you're in the UP. So. Uh, my favorite lake. <laughs> 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 That's like, if we're talking largemouth. Just re- in general. You're, in general? Your first, you're, 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 where are you going to go if you're going to go pitch? Manistee. Nice. Manistee Lake. That's a beautiful lake. Oh, it's an awesome lake. And it's so underfished. 
Mm. We've been trying to push for a tournament on that lake for like five years. And, mm. and nobody's ever Keep fished it, so nobody ever wants to fish it. So it's uh, like monsters. Next. You up? Go. Cool. Right. Your favorite technique? <laughs> the frog. <laughs> favorite, um, yeah. Favorite, favorite. Pretty much a frog. Um, <laughs> I've thrown that thing since I like ten years old. Like that's just what was my favorite thing to throw. And where do you um, like to throw it on rocks? Throw <laughs> <laughs> that on open water. Throw it off rocks. Uh, <laughs> throw it around bridges. Uh, throw it on trampolines and in cups and in jars and. So what frog is? What type of frog do you throw? So I use the um, Savage Gear DC frog. Um, and of course, I alter it depending on how I'm going to use it. I trim the legs down a lot. I bend the hooks up. Um, if I want to use it more, I take a regular frog. I don't use like the poppers, or I just take a regular one and I'll trim one leg side, one side shorter so I can walk it. Yeah. But I, I, I work my frogs really slow. You're to a lot of guys. He even dyes like every other strand a different color, <laughs> colors, <laughs> and then it like just. But I, I, I kind of stick to it. <laughs> 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 Have you ever put bells in? No. The small bells? No. Make noise? No. Try. One thing I want to try is that. Uh, Wait, what'd you call them? Little bells. The little white bells? Yeah, the little, little rattle, jingle bells. Little rattles. Nice. So one thing I want to you try. Yeah. They all stick for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they make. These little uh, get them at the tree. Vibrating <laughs> rings. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> the vibrating water. Yes. Yeah. Trying to move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make ripples. Yeah, you hear me? That's actually. You, you know, you, you think that <laughs> you think that's funny, but I, I had a guy that would I make. Mean, you know the top water, the hard top water frogs that you could buy. Uh, yeah. He would drill a hole in them and take a toothbrush, the 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 vibrator from the toothbrush, cut it, put it in it, seal it back up. And and sell those in the, in the oh. springtime. Toads go out in the water, right? And they and you ever see what they do? They actually sit there and they vibrate and they mm-hmm. shake it. I Are mean, you worried about me with the transmission? <laughs> <laughs> He's in the water. You're not the <laughs> hey, you're not speaking from experience, are you? He is <laughs> jumping out in the water and doing a little. He's... But I mean, I, I even carry, like, if I'm driving somewhere, I throw a rod in my truck. As soon as it gets warm out, like, I'm I'm looking for a time to throw a frog. Nice. I mean, I, I got my kids doing it. My 10-year-old daughter loves throwing a frog. She likes seeing the blow-ups. Awesome. Um, I mean, as soon, as soon as the little kid sees that happen, it's, like, the coolest thing. Mm-hmm. When they see a fish come up and actually hit it. Um, and that's, I think, how my dad got me hooked on fishing, too. Same way. I think that was me, too. Huh? Yeah. All right, Rich. All right, I'm. I like top water, but I'm not a top water. He even brought his own baby for a shot. This is uh, oh, uh, a. <laughs> this is a. Sh- it's like shameless promotional plug for uh, some good friends of mine and you planned new sponsor, <laughs> WM Bayou. This is going home. The juice is going home. <laughs> Wait, you're seriously? One juice one day with his buddy. <laughs> seriously though, that's the juice. I don't know if you can see it, but. Uh, down a little bit. Okay. Up, up there. There it is. There it is. There it is. I can see it. It's called the WM Bayou Frog. It's great on beds. It's 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 really a whole new design. This guy's from Michigan. Brian designed these from Michigan. And they're produced in Texas, but um yeah, I'm repping for these guys. Hey, you boy you <laughs> <laughs> they all just mix the juice. But oh Grab it and train it. Don't get them upstage you, yeah. man. Tell tell it's us about your favorite right. your favorite. No, nah, I'm not done. Yeah. Oh, you're not. Yeah. No, 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 no. I thought I could talk the most, but you just you know, no, just back these back. No, those are yours. Um, <laughs> but you gotta call them and tell them where they came from. Put a post on Facebook, Jerry. So anyhow, um, I love soft plastics. Drop shot is a big deal for me. I'll give you some juice for St. Clair. Um, 
I do the cross tail shad dipped with a little bit of uh, fluorescent, you know, a little fluorescent. Cross tail shad's good. Get yourself some gulp. Get yourself some stuff like that. Anyhow, you know, typically your arm length for your weight, that type of thing. Use a good hook. Anyways, love plastics. Uh, another hot tip for St. Clair is spinner baits. I'm a big spinner bait guy on St. Clair. Um, everybody will laugh, but one of my favorites is the Ned Rig. Why? Because giant fish, right? Everybody's catching giant fish. Wait, hold up. I got my musky on. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah. You, Don Ross, Phil. Who else? <laughs> well, do you see a pattern there? No, no. Everybody every over the age of 50 yeah. loves the Ned Rig. Ball, stable. Ball, Hey, wait. I'm not 50. I love the Ned Rig. <laughs> Mitch, save me here. You love the Ned Rig too, don't you? Good, but. Good, but. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. That's good, but. Okay. Okay, and favorite lakes, real quick. <laughs> well, Traverse, Traverse Bay, I think, is becoming my favorite. Traverse Bay, Michigan. Yes, it was. Personally, seen one almost eight. I got the picture. I'm not joking. Almost eight pound smallmouth this year. Yeah, I'll show you guys offline this picture. You won't even believe it. It's huge. But yeah, they're out there. Come on, Mitch. You can talk. Ah, uh, most fun is frogging. But if I want to fish well in a tournament, I'll fish a chatterbait. Nice. Um, favorite places? Saginaw Bay. Saginaw Bay, yeah. You know I beat you on white with a frog. Oh my god. Why is it canceled? You are early. I was fishing a bridge. <laughs> yeah, right by Tom. <laughs> with frogs. <laughs> And a Ned Rig. And a Ned Rig. <laughs> ass. Mitch. Oh, wait. I can. Can I Mitch. do that? Now? What's your favorite uh, trailer for a chatterbait? You gotta uh, get juice. Pai Tai. Oh, yeah. Pai Tai all day. What's up? It... What's the trailer? <laughs> <laughs> you see the trailer on a chatterbait? At the end of the movie? <laughs> but you live in when you get to work. <laughs> I guess I know where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This is a trailer, and it's pretty nice. <laughs> Mitch, I would have to agree with you on the whole the Kai Tech being one of the best. Now, there are many a times that a different style of trailer or different brand mm -hmm. like works when a Kai Tech doesn't. Right. Let, like let me get to a chamber plug here now for Chris Payne of Payne yeah, Outdoors. Payne Outdoors. Payne Outdoors. He makes some great trailers for nice. Yeah. Jackhammer, Chatterbaits. Mm -hmm. Look him up on Facebook. We'll do. So we got some of those Zikas when we were down here too. Mm -hmm. that I like. Mm -hmm. uh, the what? What is it? Uh, Yamamoto Zikas. 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 Okay. So okay. have you tried the Zikas with the stubtail yet? Mm -hmm. So they Yamamoto came out with the same exact Zeka instead of the fin. They now have a stub tail mm -hmm. on them. Same oh. exact setup. They have way more mm -hmm. action on a slower roll. My largest large one, seven three, came on that on a chatterbait with one of them. You can't find them in any stores, so you gotta like order them on like from Tackle Warehouse or somebody else right. that actually has them, and they're hard hard to get right now in stock. I shouldn't have told you that. No, you shouldn't have told you that. Sorry, Tim. Damn it. All right. Oh, wait, if it's going to be Tim, You're up. hey, I'll tell you where to buy him right now. <laughs> oh, I'd say my favorite bait to throw would be a, a weightless wacky or a Ned Rig. Nice. I can get uh, quality fish and a lot of numbers off of weightless wacky and the net now, rig. Now there's an honest man. See, all of you do that, but you're never saying it. <laughs> <laughs> you will never see that. Anyone that knows me, <laughs> 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 now that I've moved to South Carolina, <laughs> my techniques are a lot different. But back in Michigan, for the whole league season, it's weightless wacky and a net rig. And, you know, just crank out numbers. Once I get some numbers in on the board, then you can start then changing you can up do your baits. Yeah. That's like, it. You know, <laughs> you know, some bigger baits, bigger fish. Yeah. What kind of hook do you use for your wacky? Either a one odd or two odd. You use a straight shank or like an octopus? Then BMC. Um, yeah, I'm a guy. I just started using the, um, the weedless. Yeah. And I'm not sure I really like that. Yeah. I think it's just 
Like, I don't like the weedless Neds. I always, if I had, like, if they're all out of the regular Neds, I cut the weedless part off of them. Like, I don't like it too much yeah. crap gets stuck on them. What part of South Carolina are you in? I'm in Myrtle Beach. Okay. I just moved down there uh, right around Halloween. Well, when you're ready to go to Santee <laughs> Cooper and you're looking for places much. to go, let me know. Yeah, I'll actually, tell you where to go. we, we so may have a tournament in Santee on April 1st. Sorry, I remember my schedule. Black's Camp. I'm trying to find a picture of that. Black Camp. I'll have to yeah. remember that. Your no. <laughs> 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 my tranny blue. <laughs> All right, you're the last, oh, last of, uh, of the long line of favorites here. I think the funnest thing to throw probably deep, deep cranking. Yeah. Um, confidence bait probably be anything Texas rig. Deep water though, I can't catch anything unless I'm ten foot of water. Can't do it. I've been trying. <laughs> I'm not joking. Every fish I caught today, I probably caught 30 fish today, and every one of them was over 12 foot. When everyone else, kill. everyone else is catching shallow fish, I'm deep. Yeah, I'm in the same way, Randy. Though, like I, people I try fishing too. docks, and I what? Did he blow trainees too? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, like I try fishing docks, but like the the throwing up in the super shallow water is just so like odd to me like, yeah same right like when i fish i, I love fishing ledges <laughs> and yep. drop-offs yep. and points flats you know on the outer edges of them because i just feel like you know especially on a lot of the lakes we fish are so pressured i just have this conscious feeling that like most of the bigger fish are sitting out on the edge and it's just wide open oh, like yeah. nope. i know the point i know the shape of it i know the contour of it so then i'm throwing on the top i'm dragging down off the edge i'm throwing jerry that, that sounds like chris Payne. yeah <laughs> from Payne outdoors nice he talks about fishing out yeah. in the middle of the lake where people don't right. fish and yep. fishing deeper and um, sometimes um, it, you know, I mean, there's, I mean, I think in, in my three years or four years, it's paid off a lot, like doing it that way, but it does not pay off all the time. So I go back, you know, quite often, you know, within my own head of like, okay, wait a minute, you got to like switch this up. You got to like, you know, combine it with fishing the docks and fishing the ledges and knowing when you need to kind of just give up on that ledge. I got to I got to ask him. He he said he caught 30 fish today. I think uh two of them were over 15 inches. They were all small bucks. bucks. Tiny. Maybe 11 12 inches. Hey, fish on the board. You can't lose if you don't catch. That's right. You can lose you can lose if you don't catch five fish. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like you had one hell of a day. I'd rather catch the 30 fish were there. The numbers were there. than catch zero. That Ned Rig will get those numbers there. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so numbers, but I don't know if this will show up. It might. Holy mackerel. That is. That, I'm going to pass it around because <laughs> that's, that's what's possible. <laughs> and, yeah, that's on. That's on. Um, <laughs> that's up north. Oh god, that's well, Traverse Bay. Wait, that's not on this lake, so don't apply. That's not even part of his elbow. He's long armor. <laughs> no, that ain't. Rich, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I you knew that. I'm not in a lot of fish. Never a tranny. <laughs> and that's over seven pounds, man. I'm telling you. Okay. All right. Well, I, I think it's time for us to sign off. Sign off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right, guys. John Rapp. With the crew from Michigan who fed us wonderfully today, we'll let this show catch up here a little bit. I think we're just a few minutes by behind from the lag from the internet, but we're going to sign off. Make sure you check out on Fishing Chaos the three teams here that are represented. Watch us on Saturday and see how we do. Be blessed, everybody. Be safe. God bless you, and thank you for the, a great evening. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's your favorite, favorite deep crank? Oh, the I need a GT series. I just got into the flat.